Boron trichloride can be prepared as shown by the following equation. A sample of boron oxide was reacted completely with, with carbon and chlorine. The two gases produced occupied a total volume of 5,000 centimeters cubed at a pressure of 100 kPa and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Calculate the mass of boron oxide that reacted. Give your answer to three significant figures. So we're going to use the ideal gas equation to work out the number of moles present in the products over here. So remember PV equals nrt our pressure is 100 kpa so we need to convert that into pascals so in order to convert centimeters cubed to meters cubed you need to do times 10 to the minus 6 so 5000 times 10 to the minus 6 equals the number of moles after times that constant which we've been given times the temperature in kelvin now we arrange to find n so your number of moles is 0 0.201907 but if you reread the question, that's the number of moles for the gas over here. Because we're after the mass of this boron oxide over here, we need to work out the number of moles. So look at that mole connection. We've got a 5 over here and only 1 over here. So to find the number of moles of B2O3, you need to do that 0 0.201907 divided by 5 to get 0 0.04038. Make sure you keep that number in your calculator. And then it's just a matter of finding the MR of that boron oxide using your periodic table, which is 69.6. Multiply by that number of moles you've just calculated. Get a value of 2.81, and remember they wanted that to three significant figures. Boron trichloride is easily hydrolyzed to form two different acids as shown in the following equation. Calculate the concentration in mole DMT minus 3 produced when 43.2 grams of boron trichloride are added to water to form 500 centimetres cubed of solution. Give your answer to three significant figures. So the very first thing we want to do is find the number of moles of boron trichloride, which is that mass they've given us divided by its MR using your periodic table. That's 117.3. So that's 0 0.36828 dot dot dot. Now we need to find out the number of moles of hydrochloric acid check that mole connection it's one to three so we multiply that number by three to get a number of moles of hydrochloric acid as being 1.104859 and then finally use this formula triangle which states the number of moles is concentration times volume we're being asked to find the concentration so we know we need to do that number of moles we've just worked out divided by the volume which we've been told is 500 centimeters cubed remember you need this in decimeters cubed, so just divide it immediately by a thousand to get 0 0.5. Your final answer here is 2.21 moles dm to the minus 3, which are three significant figures. Boron trichloride can be reduced by using hydrogen to form pure boron. Calculate the percentage atom economy for the formation of boron in this reaction. Apart from changing the reaction conditions, suggest one way a company producing pure boron could increase its profits from this reaction. So, Atom economy is the MR of the useful product divided by the MR of all the reactants times by 100. So boron has an AR or an MR of 10.8. Now let's do the reactants. So we need to do 10.8 plus 3 lots of chlorine plus 1.5 hydrogens, which gives us 120.3. Pop that final calculation into your calculator so you get a percentage atom economy of 8.98. Make sure we finish answering this question by understanding how we can increase the profits. Well, let's look at the other byproduct over here hydrochloric acid. That's an extremely useful product, so that could be sold also for money. A different compound of boron and chlorine has a relative molecular mass of 163.6 and contains 13.2% of boron by mass. Calculate the molecular formula of this compound. So it's like an empirical formula calculation, which means my favorite table is back. So remember we do mass, MR, number of moles. So our boron mass, use that percentage. Remember we're allowed to use that because it's effectively a proportion. Because percentages add up to 100, in this case we're going to do 100 minus 13.2, to get 86.8, find their relative atomic mass from the periodic table. So for boron, that's 10.8. For chlorine, that's 35.5. According to this triangle, number of moles is mass divided by MR. So that's 1.2 occurring. 
86.8 divided by 35.5 is 2.44. Then divide by the smallest number, which is 1.2, to get a ratio of 1 to 2. So our empirical formula is BCl2. Now we need to work out if that's the same as our molecular formula. So we know that the molecular formula was 163.6. So what you need to do now is find the molecular formula of the compound you've just found. That's 81.8. That's actually half of the number they've given us, which tells us that our molecule in the question is twice as heavy as the one we have here. So we just need to double it all. So it becomes B2Cl4.